everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started into today's pick a card, I would like to give a quick shout out to today's sponsorship, which is Keen. So Keen provides access to psychics and spiritual advisors to help in everyday life. This can be love, career, general, just any sort of advice that you would like to know. If you use my link here and down below in the description box, this means you'll get Keen free for the first three minutes. As a new Keen customer, you'll get your first three minutes for free. And then after that, pricing depends on who you go for, which advice you go for, and it's affordable because they have so many different prices. So you can decide how much you want to invest in a reading. You can also do your reading for as long as you like. So you can basically ask a question and then kind of go off and do your own thing and then come back maybe a week later and then kind of have a longer reading. It depends on however long you would like. There's so many different ways that you can interact with a psychic advisor and there's so many different versions of readings that you could do, which I absolutely love. You can also use it on your desktop and in the app. So you can basically use Keen wherever you are. So with Keen, you can specify it to your needs. You can include someone who knows tarot, an empath, a medium, and they even do dream exploration. So if you have a weird dream or a dream that you're really interested in knowing what it's all about, then they can definitely look into that for you. You can either choose phone call, you can choose online chat or you can choose email it's really really good as it's personalized to your needs and whatever you're most comfortable with i went with psychic madam gina she was really really amazing i got some really good clarifications and it all felt so synchronistic to me because it felt really really accurate and it felt so genuine to my energy as some readings i've had before various amounts of times haven't always been the most accurate and I'm very specific on the sort of messages I like to receive because they're not always accurate. I really really enjoyed my experience. I chose to do the online chat version which I really really enjoyed but really really personal and all the information I felt was so so accurate. So Keen advisors are available 24 7 so they'll always be there if you need a reading. There's always somebody online and it's really easy to schedule a call with them. So by developing a relationship with a psychic advisor you can get monthly clarity Clarity, you can get clarity on synchronicities. You can also get chakra clearing from certain psychic advisors, which I think is really, really cool. And also once you find that psychic advisor that's really, really good for you, with this relationship that you form, it's a really amazing experience and I would highly recommend Keen. So when you sign up, Keen sends discounts on your reading. So this makes Keen one of the most affordable ways to get your reading. Discounts come through each week and they're all personalized to your needs. So this means that this is the most affordable way of getting a psychic reading. So I absolutely loved Keen and I highly recommend it. So thank you so much guys for sitting through this sponsorship. Let's get started with today's pick a card reading. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another pick a card about what's the next big change for you in 10 days so we have four groups here i have some big ass crystals on the piles we have group number one with rose quartz group number two with the selenite tower group number three with the apophyllite and group number four with the selenite tumblestone so let's get started starting off with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading we have the gorgeous rose quartz i think i have number one so this rose quartz is all about love, unconditional love, unconditional healing, light, and just genuinely it's a very soft energy. I didn't realise that rose quartz is actually quite an intense crystal <laughs> until I started using it. So this crystal will open your heart, whether you like it or not basically. If you're kind of in the zone where you don't feel like you can open your heart, this probably is the best crystal for you. But if you want to kind of explore your heart chakra and let your heart kind of open more, this is a really good crystal to use. I highly recommend it to kind of, if you're easing yourself in to love or you're kind of um, opening your heart more, I highly recommend having a big chunk next to you, kind of possibly when you're sleeping. Um, some people recommend it not when you're sleeping but I do it's very good when you're sleeping um if you're feeling irritable when you're sleeping it's really good to hold and also to wear it around your neck that will really help to kind of open your heart chakra but that is only when you can kind of handle it because I have had it on a necklace before I'm a heart chakra and I start to get really frustrated and annoyed because apparently I'm not ready to have it around my neck at that point <laughs> so every crystal is kind of meant for you at a certain time so kind of use it as you will but it's a beautiful crystal I love it it's amazing so let's get started with today's group we have meditate and contemplate beautiful start we have I feel God's presence in my life for the uh, affirmation I'm going to lay all the cards out and then I'm going to show you guys as I go through the reading my life is a beautiful reflection of my soul that is so nice. Okay, we have forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. 
grandparent, you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. Teaching and learning, we have turquoise, balance, throat and heart chakra, of course we do. <laughs> Selenite, peace, crown chakra. We also have de-stress your mind, body and schedule as you need to rest, recharge and revive. We also have learn from the past, elephant spirit, antelope spirit, life is speeding up. And we also have Bobcat Spirit Life is a Mystery. So in terms of your next big change in 10 days, I definitely feel like, this is very emotional, this group, I feel like you guys are learning to forgive the past. You're learning to kind of balance your emotions out in terms of your stress. I feel like you guys have a very heavy burden or you feel like you have a very heavy burden. So what's really important for you guys is to speak about how you really feel and to meditate. Meditate is really, really important for this group because it's going to be really important for you to um, kind of balance out and get grounded in terms of your own energy, okay? We don't want all that energy up here. We want it kind of in our body. So in terms of the tarot, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. I have to think about that for a moment. The Hermit. The Four of Cups death and we also have the four of pentacles so what i am feeling for you guys is let me move this tarot here so i can see the oracle cards so for you guys you're definitely going through a death process okay you're definitely going through a death process and what's really showing up for me here is that it's really, really important for you to rest and recharge and you may not want to do this. I know for guarantee a lot of you who have had this group have been going and going and going and going and going and then you're basically, you're going to fall down. <laughs> In terms of like mentally, you're going to be like, I am stressed out, I'm kind of tired of everything that's going on, I need a break. You guys need to remain balanced, okay, as much as you possibly can, okay? So your positive affirmations, um, if you would like to screenshot this or you'd like to write them down or just to repeat them to yourself as, as I'm repeating them. We have, I feel God's presence in my life. You can also change this to the universe or whoever you uh, believe in. We also have, my life is a beautiful reflection of my soul. I love that. That is so nice. So I definitely feel like these will help you in terms of the next best thing, ne next best thing, the next big thing that is coming for you in 10 days. This will really help you to integrate some really positive energy because I feel like you guys are very much stressed. <laughs> okay, what's happening is you are actually integrating everything that you've learned, but you're also moving forward as well. So you're actually going through, it's like you're going through the death process, but you're actually still moving because normally I see the death process as normally like kind of like a crash and then you kind of build up from it. But this is actually showing me you're kind of like, this is really random. <laughs> as always, when is it not random, my, my readings, is it, I, I'm seeing somebody kind of walking down the street. It's almost like in theatre where you have to have a quick wardrobe change. This is basically what this is. That's what they're showing me. Is it's like, as this person is walking down the street um, and wearing, say, like, I don't know, like a t-shirt and jeans, it's being quickly ripped off. And then as it, they're still walking and they're basically like walking naked, and then they're being put on clothes again and a new whole outfit, but they're still walking. So they're changing as they're moving. So it's basically like, this is really good, this energy, because it's not stagnant. But saying that, it is really good for you guys to have a rest, okay? It doesn't mean you're being stagnant, it means you're integrating this energy, okay? So the next big thing that is coming for you guys is your life is going to speed up intensely, okay? You're gonna become more balanced, and you need to meditate to integrate this new change, okay? There's definitely an element of the past coming in. So if you guys have been letting go of people or you have kind of been thinking about the past a lot, thinking about things that need to change, things that need to be kind of coming into fruition, we have forgive, it's time to let go of anger or blame, along with learn from the past and teaching and learning, okay? So this is really showing me that what has happened in the past you are learning from it, definitely. We have teaching and learning and learn from the past like together, so that's that's amazing. So what's gonna happen for you guys is you may get a little bit stressed, okay? Because you kind of want things to happen and you wanna know what's gonna happen. So 
I'm feeling that what is actually going to happen for you is you're going to get massive amounts of stability, which is really, really good. I also see a lot of money coming in for you guys as well. Um, there may be an offer coming in and you may be refusing it because you're worried about what's happened in the past. Please make sure that you, you I'm getting the word delegate, you delegate and you think about this opportunity before you go for it or before you decline it. Because I definitely feel like there is an opportunity coming in. Possibly could be with somebody, a um, romantic partner, but I'm feeling more of like a friendship. But it can also be a work experience as well. Um, and it's really important for you to kind of not decline this straight away. Obviously, do what's best for you and do what, do what you think is best. But I definitely feel like, sorry, I'm like adjusting. <laughs> um, but I definitely feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to just kind of go with the flow. And kind of just feel out things as you go along but i definitely feel like you guys are going to get peace you may have felt very overwhelmed recently um so what's really important for you is to integrate this energy and there is also a grandparent around you so if you have a grandparent in spirit that is extra clarification that this person is around you obviously you can have um grandparents on the earth plane who are obviously can still be your spirit guides but they are more likely to be ones that have passed so it can be great grandparents can be great 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 grandparents you know but for here it says you have a special bond with a grandparent and they can never be broken so this can also be a grandparent actually um on the earth plane still um who's helping you through this change who you've got a very strong bond with or it could be um a relationship you have with a grandparent that becomes more stronger that comes more of a stronger bond you know I definitely feel like there's going to be peace for you guys. You're going to feel really, really calm after this next 10 days. So if things feel a bit kind of up in the air, make sure to ground yourself, meditate. It's just creating stillness because there's a lot of things that are speeding up. Obviously, this is really good. But obviously, if you haven't been in this energy for a while or you've basically been like, go, 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 this energy is different. It's not like a go. It's like you've been go, 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 go. And then now you have to break because it's like you have to have a break. You have to rest because it's been so intense. But then now this next stage for you is like that, but it's more of like an authentic speed. So it's like it feels more like flow instead of like forcing, having to do, needing to do. It's like, I'm going to do this because I want to. I'm going to do this because I can fit it into my schedule. You know, it doesn't feel like I have to do this. You know, it doesn't feel as intense as that. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and comment down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So we have this gorgeous selling light tower. This is my baby. I love this. So if you've been watching my channel for a little while now, I always have my selling light with me. This is really, really good for channeling. This is really good if you're a medium or if you just kind of want to connect with spirit or if you just want to have a peaceful time because it's a very peaceful crystal and I love it. It's really, really good for cleansing and clearing your aura. So let's get started with you guys let's see what's coming in the next 10 days we have a personal issue reaches resolution that is gorgeous okay so i'm going to lay the cards out and then i'm going to obviously show you the cards as i go along but you can hopefully see them down here so positive affirmations we have i give myself the gift of deep and restful sleep every night i'm a master at setting boundaries that protect my time energy creativity and emotional well-being i am open and receptive to the to the divine healing power wait what <laughs> let me say that again i'm open and receptive to the healing power of divine love there we go that made sense right can you see this guys you can hopefully you can kind of see this sorry if you can't okay we have brothers and sisters to get along with others see the love and the best within them best friends true friends stick together no matter what self-discipline jade good luck heart chakra life lessons you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain we also have dog spirit be loyal to what you love i think you see all these we'll have a bit of room here i'm going to put the tarot here actually right we have the three of pentacles we have the ten of cups oh my lord we have the hierophant we have the seven of pentacles we also have the six of cups the next big change for you guys in 10 days looks really freaking good there's going to be a genuine offer that's going to come to you guys is what i'm feeling it feels like a genuine offer of love and this can be various amounts of things because we have we have full-on love with a really good union okay so this can be a relationship because we also have the hierophant next to it so it really feels like a very strong connection okay it feels like committed long term um, I see you guys have been working on yourself a lot 
you've been working on your love area of your life, you've been working on your relationships, you've been working on your emotions. And I feel like for you guys, this could easily be a soulmate coming in, but this can also be someone from the past, okay? This is very, various amounts of different, obviously different messages. I have like three different messages and obviously this is a, obviously this is, I can't speak. <laughs> okay, obviously this is a general reading. So I'm seeing you guys building a relationship with co-workers, with friendships. I'm seeing you making new friends. I'm seeing you making a best friend. I'm seeing you guys having a really good relationship with your brother or sister. I'm seeing you guys having a possibly good relationship with your cousin, even your auntie, your uncle, just good connections with family, co-workers, literally every single element of relationships that you can have. I'm feeling you guys having a really good relationship with these people. Uh, whether they're co-workers, friends, family, relationships, pretty much all of them, I'm seeing that could be a possibility. Obviously, it doesn't always mean that you're going to have good connection with every single person, but it may be one or two, or it may be all of them, you never know. So, with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, it's really showing me that there's going to be a very strong connection that's going to last a long time. So, it's not going to be like, oh, hi, how are you, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. It's going to be like, hi, how are you, let's get together. And, to, and in terms of like a relationship and a friendship as well obviously when I say get together I mean like being really good friends long-term friends and I'm seeing a very good relationship with co-workers as well and a very good relationship to do with your actual work um so if you guys are moving into a new job if you're possibly moving house I'm actually seeing you guys having a better connection with your home as well so you may not have been having a very good connection with your home but I do feel like you're going to have a more cozy vibe in the next 10 days okay and you're going to be kind of figuring out what makes you happy in your home what makes you the most comfortable we have a personal issue reaches resolution so whatever you are kind of querying about with this reading i do sense that there is an issue that is being resolved this is a lot to do with your emotions i feel like because cancerians are rather emotional i know because my moon is in cancer so i know i know we can be emotional also, it means about safety with the home. Uh, Cancerians love to feel safe. Their home is their sanctuary. So I definitely feel like unsafe do with your home. I didn't actually think about that. We had the cancer card and I thought about home. That was more of an intuitive message as well. So in terms of what you're going through right now, you're going through an intense life lesson. So what's going to be important for you to kind of get through this is to do what you love and kind of keep doing that <laughs> and to not stop doing that. Also, there may be an, an, an a certain element of self-discipline that you'll need to do in terms of boundaries with protecting your time, energy, creativity and emotional well-being. It can also be the um, discipline with giving yourself restful sleep. You may be kind of avoiding sleep, you may be avoiding having a long, long amount of sleep. It may be also that you're kind of avoiding including love into your life you may be feeling a little bit stuck maybe possibly feeling a little bit stubborn a little bit of overthinking energy what they're basically showing me is it's really good to connect with your heart chakra i do sense there is going to be a lot of love coming towards you within the next 10 days okay obviously it doesn't have to be exactly 10 days it can be in the next few days um but it can be 10 days <laughs> obviously it can be slightly more than 10 days but obviously hopefully it'll be amazing that's what i'm hoping for you guys in terms of loyalty there's going to be a lot of loyalty definitely a lot of relationships with this group like relationships are key with this group amazing so that is what i am seeing for you guys um in terms of the life lessons that you've been having um what would help you is to pray or to ask or to ask the universe kind of what lesson am i learning what do i need to learn from this what is going to help me get through this and what i'm hearing is to just love yourself and to just focus on the things you really love what makes you you because that's going to help personalize this to your own energy and not to focus on other people also to not focus on i'm getting this like taking too much of other people's burdens on and to also cut cords with people there's like a tiny little dagger with this card i never really noticed it but it's like a glowing dagger it's like here i don't know if you guys can see it um, but she's basically holding a dagger and whenever I see that or that or a sword I think about kind of cutting cords with people so maybe somebody you need to cut cords with who doesn't suit you anymore can even be a family member um, but yeah just to kind of do whatever is best for you guys so thank you so much for watching if this helped you guys don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading we have the gorgeous apophyllite 
from this crystal i'm feeling there's a lot of healing love and light energy coming towards you and it feels like a very strong connection with the, the divine feminine and your own soul which is pretty great i think that's pretty great so let's get started with your group group number three we have you're very close to achieving your goal nothing will come of this situation a fiery climax approaches for your positive affirmation it says i do complete work i tie up loose ends follow through on projects and enjoy the feeling that comes from a job well done okay i'll show you the rest of these cards as i go through as well we have I tell the truth with grace and love and my relationships are transformed. This dog kind of looks a bit scared, but <laughs> which is really interesting. We've got a cat and a dog, which is so cool. I love that. We have share. When you share, everyone feels happy. I don't think I've ever got this card. This card does not look familiar to me, which is so strange. Listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something you know is wrong. Adventure spirituality follow your dreams green eventually new opportunities heart chakra life changing epiphany or experience <clears throat> excuse me we have giraffe spirit see the big picture be generous with spirit lion spirit and then from the tarot we have the fall which is amazing we have the two of pentacles we have the queen of swords the eight of wands and the ace of pentacles right okay let's move this tarot up here a minute so i can see it better so what's happening for you in the next 10 days i feel like you guys are really on an amazing journey okay this is probably one of my favorite groups because it feels like you guys are honestly going forward and are claiming and claiming what you desire okay so this can be to do with love this can also be to do with your own spirituality. So you guys are going to be going on an adventure, okay? You could also be meeting a air sign, or you could be an air sign. We also have earth here and fire. And I definitely feel like you guys are going to get a life-changing epiphany and a new experience, which is absolutely amazing. I love this. Um, new opportunities, and we also got life-changing experience or epiphany life-changing epiphany or experience isn't that so amazing within the next 10 days you guys are going to get a really really good start you guys are on the ball okay you guys are starting a new start you're going to get balanced you're becoming more assertive you're going forward we i'm seeing a i don't know why i say we maybe it's me and spirit <laughs> i don't know but i'm seeing this opportunity in terms of finances as well so i'm seeing love and finances for you guys so I do definitely feel like a career opportunity is coming forward for you. We have see the big picture and be generous of spirit. Okay. So what's important for you guys is you may feel like this. You're kind of narrow, not narrow minded, but you may be feeling like narrow, like narrowed in because things aren't happening for you or things aren't happening like quick enough for you guys. So I definitely feel like what's really important for you is what's really important for you is to be generous of spirit and to understand that things are much bigger than what they are feeling right now okay so things are going to get better you are going to go on to a massive adventure which is really really amazing and what's really important for you is to share your time with people this can also be kind of gift giving giving your love um talking having conversations with people with this share card it's kind of making me feel like you need to talk about how you really feel about things and get things out then it make you make your vision feel much wider instead of kind of feeling like it's just you and only you and it and you can't focus properly because you need obviously sometimes we all need a helping hand from other people even if it's just you repeating yourself because things haven't changed honestly guys i know how that feels so it will change guys don't worry it will change so we have you're very close to achieving your goal nothing will come in this situation and a fiery climax approaches so what they're showing me is it's about that trusting thing that I just said. It's about you trusting your own intuition. It's about trusting that things are going to get better. And a fiery climax approaches, which also means a male is coming in. Of course, it would be an Aries. It doesn't have to be a male, but I am feeling a male is coming in. And this can be a love relationship here. Um, but yeah, nothing will come in this situation when you're worrying, when you're debating whether things are actually going to happen. Yes, they will happen and you will see the bigger picture, okay? Um, for this it says listen to your true feelings I love this combination because it really shows me that you guys are going to be kind of integrating your own energy and you're not thinking about other people which is amazing 
it's like you're not constantly worrying about what other people think and it says don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong so always be authentic to yourself obviously as much as you possibly can and to share how you really feel if anyone's trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do make sure to stand your ground put your foot down say no i'm not going to do that i just feel like you guys your spirituality is going to get so heightened and your intuition is going to be like boom like fire or oh, fire fire we have fire fire we have um 55 and 77 so five and seven is going to be really good numbers for you you guys are going to be going on a massive adventure i love this group this group is great this group is fab we also have follow your dreams so as i say new opportunities are coming towards you and you're going towards your dreams you're in the right direction guys Woo, let's get this shizzle started. So yeah, I definitely see amazingness for you guys. And also things are gonna be picking up for you. Things are gonna be happening faster and are gonna be absolutely amazing for you. Things just feel much happier for this group. Feels great. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you in the next 10 days. So we have this gorgeous selenite ball i love it i think it's so so pretty it's just got such a good feel to it my shoulder's hurting as i'm holding that which is kind of showing me that you guys probably have something that's stuck or something you need to say something you need to communicate okay let's have a look at number four <clears throat> i'm going to show you guys uh, after i put the cards down so we have prosperity lies ahead we have um your positive affirmation is my body heals itself with every breath I take. Maybe you're having shoulder pain or like physical pain in your shoulder or I'm getting actually in my chest area. Um, I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow my cells to vibrate at their highest potential. Well, <laughs> we also have definitely yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. Time out. Amethyst intuition. Citrine, Abundance, Creativity, Peridot, Teach, Heart Chakra, Unconventionality, your unique, your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose, it's okay to feel and be different from others, Time to Heal, Snake Spirit, and then from the Tarot we have the Moon, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands and a Page of Swords, wow, okay, so for you guys I definitely feel like there is an element of what am i doing wrong i feel like you guys are asking yourself what am i doing wrong why isn't anything happening why aren't things changing so what it's showing me is what's going to happen in the next 10 days is there's going to be a big shift i feel like you're going to realize something about yourself and about your journey that causes you to shift your energy and therefore new things start to come in okay and basically you've been healing for a long time i'm 55 could be very important to you um, you've been shedding old wounds, you have been creating more time out for yourself, which is really good. If you haven't, I really, really highly recommend to take some time out, just relax, to kind of calm down and to have some meditative energy around you, whether that's meditating, whether that's having a nap, you know, whatever helps you to feel good. I don't know what I'm doing with this. So you guys are definitely pushing away something. So if you feel nervous about this new opportunity, uh, kind of debate it in your head and figure out if you think it's the right opportunity for you, but don't dismiss it straight away, okay? Because it definitely feels like you're going to have more expansion, you're going to have more opportunity that's going to feel much more freeing for you. You're going to feel much more freer, I definitely feel like this group. I feel like you're craving freedom, this group. So for you guys, it's a definite yes to whatever you're asking about, and it could be prosperity, um, money, abundance love relationships whatever you feel like is a definite yes For this group i feel it's more about emotions um relationship connections and money and when i say relationship connections i feel more on your side so you're more of your emotional state and how you're dealing with your own emotions because with the moon it really shows me you need to just take time out and just to relax to focus on yourself because it can be quite uncomfortable sometimes to go through a very healing time and it's really important for you to look after yourself Okay, it's very, very important for you to look after yourself. So, what else do we have here? So in terms of your intuition, your intuition is going to be really high and they're telling me to do some um, automatic writing, draw, just get creative. I think that's really, really going to help you. And it's also going to teach you about what you need to know about yourself. The more creative you are, the more you're letting things flow, which is really, really good. I love this so much. I love this card here where it says unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. 
I love that because it's basically telling you guys that if you feel like you want to do something new or something unusual that you think other people won't like, who cares? You know, who cares? It's all about your life, it, whatever, whatever suits you. And if people say you can't do this or you're weird for doing that, be like, bitch, please. Like, <laughs> tell me something I don't know, <laughs> you know, but it's just like you guys are doing really, really well. It could also be that you're struggling with your health and it is causing you to possibly have some uncomfortable situations with relationships because you possibly can't go out and do things that you normally do. Or it could be to do with that you're frustrated with yourself because you can't do things that you normally do. I love this affirmation because it says my body heals itself with every breath I take. So this can be to do with mental health, physical health, spiritual health, just any sort of health that you kind of need that extra boost. But I definitely feel like this will help. I love this uh, quote here as well. I said I keep my I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and I allow myself to vibrate at their highest potential. I love that so much. Hope you guys can see that. I think that's really, really beautiful. But after this kind of situation, once you have taken the time out, there is definitely prosperity ahead. It feels really, really good. And you guys, you're going to get a massive life lesson out of whatever you're kind of going through right now. So just know that it is worth it. And you are actually, a lot of you guys are actually healing your heart in this group because I've got two green cards here, which is about the heart chakra. So what's gonna help you to kind of go through this is to kind of create that energy of creativity and to let things flow and to not kind of feel so stagnant with the energy. Um, the more flow you can get in your life, the better. So whether that's physically moving your body. I'm hearing even brain training. Yeah, it's also still like talking as well, because I <coughs> nearly cough. Like talking about how you feel. Like it's really hard for you to talk about how you feel. I definitely feel that for you guys. So. This is group number four. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys and I'll speak to you very soon. Also, don't forget to check out Keen if you'd like to get your first three minutes for free, which is absolutely amazing. I really love Keen. It's a really good way of communicating with psychic advisors and getting all the advice you need. So thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.